I am petite, I am five foot two. And when it comes to style, I do think that it's worth being a little bit mindful over the things we choose and particularly over the trends we choose. Now, I spoke in my last video about how there's been a democratization of fashion. And I do believe that fashion is more accessible than ever to so many more of us, women of all different shapes and body types, and that is a great thing. However, I think there are still some trends that us petites should avoid. Or if you're like me and have short legs in comparison to your overall height, I do think it's worth avoiding these trends as well. So I apologize in advance because I will be using my phone at certain points throughout this video to bring up some information that I think is relevant. And I will link all of the resources I use down in the description box below if you want to learn more. Now, the first trend that I feel very strongly we as petites should avoid is the oversized bag trend. This one just won't go away for some reason. And I get it, they can be very practical, but by God, they swamp us petites completely. Now, I'm going to use my dog, Barley, for this demonstration. <laughs> and before you think I'm mad, I have actually researched some of the dimensions of the oversized designer bags that are currently on the market and on trend and compared them to Barley. <laughs> Barley is just under 50 centimeters long and 45 centimeters tall. And when I pick him up, you can see that he's huge or he looks huge. He seems huge in comparison to me, but that's not because Barley is enormous. It's because I am tiny. <laughs> And unfortunately, bags have the same effect. Instead of the bag looking big on us, an oversized bag actually ends up making us look tiny. It's not a look I think we should intentionally choose for ourselves. Now, let's pick two examples um, from the market at the moment. And here is where I need my phone. So we've got the Maxi shopping bag from YSL in quilted leather, and the dimensions are 58 by 43. So this bag is actually larger than my dog. Can you imagine how much it would swamp me if I tried to wear it? But let's take another example. So we have this really beautiful bag, the Large Olivia Hobo by Kate. And this one is even longer than the YSL one, 61 centimeters in length and 36 centimeters in height. So again, absolutely enormous. And for that reason, not something I'll be adding to my closet. Another trend we're seeing everywhere is large floral patterns, particularly roses. And roses are actually my favorite flower. I think they are absolutely beautiful and it's a really beautiful pattern on a fabric. But I think when you're a petite like me, the size of the pattern really does matter because otherwise the pattern does all of the talking and not in a good way. So for that reason, I think a better choice um, if you want to participate in the floral trend, which I certainly do this year, is just to pick a floral pattern that's a little bit smaller in scale. It will look more proportionate and more intentional when you wear it. Another trend I want to speak about is horrible hemlines or what I'm calling horrible hemlines. And that is everything from short shorts, which we've been seeing everywhere since last year, God help us medium length Bermuda shorts. Now, Bermuda shorts can work, of course, but if they cut you off at the knee, I really think they should be avoided if you have short legs. And I fall into that category. So I will not be wearing any Bermuda shorts or any skirts for that matter that cut me off in the middle of my leg at the knee because it just ends up making me look inches shorter than I actually am and creates a really frumpy look, which I personally find very unflattering. So when it comes to Bermuda shorts, I may not avoid them completely, but I certainly will be avoiding the ones that cut me off at the knee. And finally, there's capri pants, which will not go away. I have to read you out this really funny quote from a news article. And again, I'll link it for you if you want to have a read after this, but it says, if you're a trendy Gen Zer, Capri pants are a funky central wardrobe item for 2024. But if you're an exhausted millennial, they're an unwelcome blast from the past, a grisly reminder of our pedal pusher days. 
I just find that so funny because to be honest with you, I am definitely falling into the exhausted millennial category. I remember when capri pants were always seven eighths long. They always caught you off at the thickest part of your calf and they always looked absolutely awful, at least on me. <laughs> and because I never grew past five foot two from the time I was about 11 or 12, capri pants never worked for me and that has never changed. <laughs> So if you are short like me, I definitely recommend maybe not giving them a miss, but just be really mindful of where they hit you. I would recommend getting a longer version maybe that cuts you off below the thickest part of your calf. That could work really well as a nice cropped pant, but definitely avoid anything that cuts you off at the knee because it just won't do you any favors at all. And there are much more flattering options out there for you. A dishonorable mention goes to double waistbands. Again, they just shorten the overall length of our leg, in my opinion. As a petite, I certainly will be avoiding the double waistband look, even though I think it is really cool. Obviously, it's really trendy. It's really different. And I'm going to continue admiring it on other people, but I'm not going to be wearing a double waistbanded pant myself. <laughs> That's for sure. Now, of course, the trends aren't all bad. There are actually way more good trends than bad trends this year. And I made a video last week all about the most wearable spring summer trends that are out right now. So check that out if you get a minute. And in the meantime, while I have you, please do subscribe to the channel. You'd be very welcome. And hit that notification bell so that you never miss a future video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.